you tell us a little bit, Michael, about uh, the uh, probiotics themselves and their role in the gastrointestinal tract? Sure. Uh, you know, we have three kinds of bacteria in our intestinal tract. We have bacteria that are, that are sort of a neutral function. In other words, they're there, um, and they don't seem to have a positive or negative effect. And then we have bacteria that definitely have a negative effect. As I uh, may have mentioned, less than 1% of all the bacteria, fortunately, less than 1% are pathogenic, we call that, or, or bacteria that would give us a negative uh, effect if they, if they grew too much. And then we have bacteria that are uh, definitely bacteria that have a positive effect, that give us a uh, benefit of some kind. Um, there are about, um, about a trillion, several trillion bacteria in our gut. In fact, more bacteria in our intestines than there are cells in the rest of our body. Um, so they're very, very important, obviously. So what happens is we have a balance of these good and bad bacteria in our gut, and if the bad bacteria are allowed to grow too much, then we're going to get sick. We're going to get intestinal problems, skin problems, uh, all, kinds of, uh, uh, all kinds of problems by these bacteria that, that are allowed to proliferate and, uh, and sort of take over, uh, and the balance in our system is upset. So what we have is the, the balance of the good and the bad bacteria, and the good bacteria are primarily bacteria that we call lactic acid bacteria, LAB. Sometimes it's referred to in the scientific literature, but lactic acid bacteria, meaning they produce lactic acid when they grow. And these are lactobacilli and then bifidobacteria. Those are the two main kinds of, of, uh, uh, of good bacteria in our, in our system. So we want to make sure that we have enough of these good bacteria in our bodies. Unfortunately, the stress and the diet that we have today, um, most of us, is going to upset that balance. You know, we don't eat the kinds of foods that keep putting these bacteria back in our bodies. You know, like many other kinds of things, vitamins, we, we need to take them in with our food. And if we don't get them, then the balance of, of bacteria is going to be upset in our bodies. So what are the things in that the bacteria, I mean, you mentioned that they're, they do a lot of things for the body that they're beneficial. Are they helping with digestion? Are they helping with... They're, they're helping with a number of things, that's right. They help with digestion. They attach to the, to the uh, intestinal wall. And that attaching to the intestinal wall keeps the bad bacteria from attaching to the intestinal wall. So they actually help digest the food. In other words, they, they eat that food, but they don't take all the nutrients out of it. They just break down the nutrients to a, 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 a more of a level that our bodies can absorb them faster and easier. So they certainly help us uh, take in our food. They also help uh, the body to produce other kinds of beneficial uh, um, effects. Uh, they... they um, help the body to produce what are called uh, uh, NK cells or T cells. Sometimes we've heard those terms. And these are cells that our body makes to fight bad bacteria, to uh, fight cancerous cells, other cancerous cells. And so it's been shown that these lactic acid bacteria can also boost the level of NK cells or what are called natural killer cells and T cells. So people with uh, depressed immune function often have low levels of these T cells and NK cells, these lactic acid bacteria, lactobacillus acidophilus, for instance, can help boost that.